Welcome back, everybody. I'm getting so close to get my desktop computer. It's going to be great because I can make hopefully better stuff than what I'm doing right now. Anyways, uh, uh, you might notice that I am definitely not where I was <laughs> that one, the last video I uploaded to YouTube. I know the last video I uploaded to YouTube, I was in Hamilton's Hideaway, but my Elgato screwed up. That's why I bring up the desktop thing, because hopefully that wouldn't happen on a new desktop. But this is basically what I did, so where the freaks... There it is. So I finished Hamilton's Hideaway up. I went to the cinema, which I actually been to in one of my videos, and the Memorial Field, which I have also been there. The only reason why I had to go there again was because I got blown up by a super mutant. But anyways, nothing really interesting happened in the video that I made with the Elgato crash, and I only got a few. I got a few uh, just stem packs and stuff from Hamilton's Hideaway, but I didn't get to the cache that was in there, and. Um, yeah, Moonbeam and Memorial Field, really nothing interesting there. So I made it to Big Town. I'm not sure if the quest started. I think I think it did. Yeah. So, of course, they're having their problem with the Super Mutants and that. As we most of us probably know by now. So, alright. My volume's kind of low. I swear, I got a spring going... Like, well, I have, like, a loose spring on my chair, which is bugging me. I have to sit in the, per the perfect position where that spring will jab me. All right. I forget who I all talked to. Uh... Let's talk to I don't think I talked to him, Flash. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained mm -hmm. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. I oh, won't. Well, we've got super mutants <clears> up <throat> that way and slavers up that way. Take your pick. They I'd rather have them both drag off fight. as many as they can carry and shoot whoever puts up a fight. The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time yep. and fight over who gets to kill us. And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us. Oh, what jerks. Won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, oh, come on. The bunch of They're going to go hiking. You guys are trained killers after all. My God, this spring's... Oh, I hate it. Luckily, it's not the pointy spring. It's just the spring that lost all like the cushioning around it, and it sucks. This was a good chair too. This is a movie theater chair. It freaking sucks. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We're an item. Oh man! Don't even go. <laughs> you think a girl like that would be more, you know, adventurous? That's a dry well. <laughs> All she does is talk about how she hates everyone else or how dark her clothing is. A guy can only take so much of that before he snaps. Mm -hmm. Poor Pappy got the worst of it. I swear, he's gotten even more depressed since she dumped him for me. As if being here wasn't bad enough. Ah. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Common house. What do we got here? I think we got the patient in here. Let's see if I'm leveled enough. Maybe I can help him. Let's see, time bomb. Put him out of his min misery. No, won't do that. Screw that. I can take this. Awesome. Nothing good in there though. I just love the noise this is making. Wonder what that is. Huh. I think Pappy's the only one I didn't talk to. 
repair these sentry bots. I'll take the darts. Good stuff. Someone knew Kimba. In the big town. Not that there's much of a town left. Those super mutants keep kidnapping people. Eh, we well, know about them. I thought growing up was a good thing. You got to leave and explore mm -hmm. the real world. Well, nobody tells you that the real world sucks. At first, we just oh, you better believe it. Alone. When we ran out of money, Red found other ways to convince them to leave us alone. But now she and the others are gone. Super mutants attack. Oh, we're we'll gonna get them. No one knows when they're coming back, or who will be next. Took them to the north to the police station or something. Do you think you could find them and rescue them? Sure thing. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. We don't have much, but if you can bring them back alive, we'll give you everything we can. All right. No, Red used to run a med. Uh. Okay. I don't see Pappy anywhere. Where the frick's Pappy? God dang it. Who said that? You said that. There you are. A visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us. Oh, yes. Aren't you? Bend over, son. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. I told her things would be safe here. How was I supposed to know all those stories were bunk? Then she dumped me. Called me a liar. <laughs> I was lied to myself, all right. Well, that didn't matter to her. Then she started dating Flash and got all spooky. Good riddance. Uh... Yeah, I... I can repair my stuff. Uh, I'll get the combat shotgun repaired, I guess. All right, good. Okay. Good here. Let's keep going. Let's go to the northeast. There's a location up here. Wonder what we got. Let's check it out. Got my good old hunting rifle out. Ready to blow some heads off. What we got? We got a bridge. Got a nice bridge. Nice, lovely bridge. Sit down. Oh, you got me. Oh, there. Ow, you got me again. Oh, God. That's horrible. Sorry, guys, I'm a little tired. <laughs> From school. Yeah, I have to wake up at 6 o'clock for my early chemistry class. It sucks. Back up, son. What do you think you're doing, boy? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. Just get away. Alright, you want to play freaking with melee weapons? Take my nice Chinese sword out. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yeah. Ah. Alright, you're dead, boy. Ah. 
Yes, chop your head off, boy. Haha. Stab. Take the mentats. Good stuff. Oh, we got another stupid raider coming. Let's go kill him. Oh, we got two stupid raiders. God dang it. Uh, stupid raiders. Stupid freaking raiders. Hmm. Come on, you dumb raiders. Oh. God dang it. Oh, wow, that was way off. God dang it. Why are they such good shots? Alright, you know what? Freaking drinking my whiskey. Popping some Medex. Now. Now you're in trouble. You're in freaking trouble now, boy. Blow his head off. Yeah! Told ya you were in trouble! You wouldn't die when I wanted. Uh oh! You wanna play too? I better get out of here. He's gonna keep plucking me. Oh! Ow. You jerk. Let's see here, I don't wanna waste all my ammo. Alright, time to snipe. Boom! Yes, finally. Took a while. Got him. Freaking stupid raiders. Let's see if I can repair my hunting rifle. I can? Yes. Can I repair it again? No. Alright. Let's see what we got down here. What were these raiders hiding? Or were they just having a triple gangbang? I hope not. If they were, it's going to stink really bad down here. Right. Come on. Please. If I see white crap, I'm running away. Oh, they got some uh, weapons. In, well, they got ammo down here. Let's see. Take that. Take all this good stuff. Yes. Here we go. I'll take it all. We got some good old darts. Pre-war money. That's good. And I'll take the big carton of cigarettes. Good money. Let's see what else we got here. Pork and beans? Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat those right now. What else we got here? Insta mesh. Take that. Gonna eat that. The freak is it? There it is. Got some Radex. Good Radex. And we got an ammunition box full of shotgun shells. Beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. And yeah, we got a nice out house. We take a dump. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Nice and spicy. Oh yes. Wait, if it was nice and spicy, that would hurt. Ugh. <laughs> okay. What do we got up here? Looks like we got a metro station. Oh yeah, we've been here. When I was on the Xbox, we were here. 
Well, I guess we can actually go talk to the family, I guess. Try to get in here. Okay. Freaking went through the fence like a boss. Like a mother freaking bells. Is there two ways to go? I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go dumpster diving first. Let's see what we've got. Empty and empty. When have people's trash bins been that empty? Come on. Now, I better watch out for some mines. Because the family likes to play dirty tricks. Good up in here. Nothing good. Nothing. Where's these dirty tricks? I know there's dirty tricks in here. There's a dirty trick right here. Give me. I'll take it. Yes. Boom. Oh yeah. Freaking awesome. Oh. No tricks on me. No. I remember your little baby trick. I don't think so. No. I'm not saving that baby. That baby can blow up. What else we got? Ooh, I see your tricks. No tricks for me. What else tricks we got? Here's another trick. No freaking tricks, family. No. No. Bad family. Take scrap metal. Okay. Let's keep rolling on here. Let's see here. Go this way. Let's go this way. Hmm. No landmines yet. Oh. Disarm the pitching machine. Yes. I see your little trap. Screw your little trap. Give me that experience. I love it. I love the experience. I love it. Oh yes, I do. What is this? Dead Mirelurk. Oh, I see your trap. No dice. Hmm. No dice. Uh, I can't see any landmines over here. Oh, I see your grenade trap. Oh, screw it. Go, push it. Run, run. Oh, oh my goodness! I backed into a bunch of frag mines and crap. Uh. All right, let's go talk to the family. Let's go get to them. Oh, I see your trap. No. Nobody. Uh, what else we got? Is that a trap? Yes, it is. Get that out of here. Uh, uh, uh. What's up, idiot? Whoa, whoa. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where oh, the really? I talked to you before, you remember me? All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. Oh yes. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking. All right, here we go. Let's go do it. You're listening to Mount Crave Radio. I'm John Henry Eaton, president of the Hot Mail. 
can locate Ian now. Oh yes. I wonder if I can get that sword. Hmm. Get rid of my sword. Hello, you got the new visitor. I'm going to take my clothes off so all you can see my shining breeze. You new here too? Yes, I am. You got the cash? I got the time. Oh yeah, baby, I'm naked already. Vance, where are you? Where are you, Vance? Yeah, I want your sword. Give me your sword. I want the sword. Actually, I think if I take the sword, he gets mad at me, I believe. Crap. He may get mad at me for stealing his sword. I think it's in this safe. Alright. I better save just in case he'd get mad at me. With this screwing it up. Nothing. Boo. Wrong freaking thing. Where is this sword? I know it's somewhere in. Thought it was in here, anyways. I think it might be in the wardrobe, sword cabinet. Oh no, no! I don't have enough. Oh, I can pop a mentat. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Pop a mentat. There. Oh no! I still don't have enough. Ah, oh, I thought it went up by ten. It goes up by five. Do I have anything that makes my Walk, pick, go up. No, I don't. Well, that sucked. Boo. God dang it. God freaking dang it. Alright, screw it. <laughs> Vance, where are you at, my man? Where are you? I thought you were normally up here. Everyone's down here, I see. What's up, my brothers? I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. I My am. Justin. I'm pretty new here mm, myself. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Ian, what do you want from him? It's outsider's perspective. Ah, you. Yes, I know. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened. Oh, nothing yeah. To stop it. If you ask yourself why. The answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his right to- I will. No. Just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed. Oh, I'm going to disturb that meditation. How do you know that? If you've spoken to him like I have, I think you can see he's truly one of us. No, he isn't. confides in me. We share a special bond. I might oh, be the only what friend in the kind world of bond would that, that be, my friend? Howdy, handsome. Howdy. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men. Oh my goodness, Fallout's full, full of whores. Are you serious, bruh? <laughs> Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. I know where he is. <laughs> nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. All right. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. 
Nice to meet you. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. Why? He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. It okay, who else? Oh, hey there. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Hmm. All right. All right, talk to Justin. What else do we got here? I think they have a store here. I'm gonna go do that. What's up, my brother? I wanna sell some of my hardware to you, Carl. Well, well. I haven't had this one in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? Oh my god, you chewed on his. Oh my god, I don't wanna even think about it. Do I look like a fucking babysitter? Yes. I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. I'm going to kick your ass all over this metro station if you don't help me. Finally, someone with some balls around this place. <laughs> Here's the password to that little pipsqueak's room. Why don't you go knock some sense into him? <laughs> Yes, buddy. Ian, Ian, Ian. Is that all you've got to say? Sheesh. If your caps are good. Do the douche. <laughs> Alright, what do I want to sell? I'm using all this stuff. Well, I don't know if I'm going to use the assault rifle anymore. Nah. I'm going to use the 10mm stuff. Uh, what else? Okay, so that. Not gonna use laser pistol. Alright. Uh, I want all this stuff. Uh, you can have that. The one that. Alright, well, that works. I'm just. I, I should actually check if he has anything that'll boost my lockpick. What is it? Intelligence, I think. It's not perception, is it? Maybe. I'll buy it. Thanks. Nah, it's intelligence. Is it? <laughs> Not sure. Huh. Alright. What's the Mentat boost? Alright, it has to be in. Well, oh, uh, you know what? I don't freaking know. <laughs> Where is Vance? Bro, where are you? Please don't take Ian away from us. I will. He will join me. Where the frick is Vance? He vanished. He freaking vanished. Ah, there he is. I must have stole from his stuff while he was in here. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. Ah, oh, I see. The oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We are the remnants of society. 
cast aside like the clean picked bones of a hunter's feast. Ooh. I led my flock beneath the sun baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. I am afraid that the knowledge required to appreciate our true. Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? <laughs> Vampires. I think you're a bunch of creepy weirdos. Yeah, I should... <laughs> I never chose that. I'm tempted to pick it. Alright, I'm gonna pick it. Names like that have no meaning. Your insults <laughs> are a wasted effort. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Alright. I have to go all the freaking to the terminals and crap? God dang it. Do you have, like, any freaking thing that will boost my lockpick? Nothing. Oh, dang it. To read about his stupid laws and rolls. I don't care about his rolls. The laws of the family. First law. The first law feasts not on the flesh. Consume only the blood. This is our strength. We do not eat the flesh of those we kill for food. We will only drink of their blood and leave the body intact. The consumption of flesh is filthy and unclean. This action is what causes the humans to treat us like animals. We are not animals. We are the family. Okay. The second law. Bear not the child. Welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Because we carry the, str the stain of our past in our bodies, we can never let it pass to our offspring who would in turn carry out those foul actions, beginning the cycle anew. The family must seek the wasteland for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is our fate. Okay. The third law. Feed not for pleasure. Partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. We only kill the humans when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves. We never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children for they are not yet tainted by society's view of us. The family will not tolerate murder. Okay, fourth law. The fourth law. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refugee. Because we are creatures of the night, we must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the dark as its refugee. Okay, last one. The fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Anyone disobeying this action, 
the most heinous of our uh, of our what the freaking heck heinous of all our crimes will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our own inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number only in the few, and we cannot risk extinction. All right, read your laws. All right. So, do you stealth and... Oh, this is Arafu. Regarding Arafu. I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. I was very clear that we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was an act that was both unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I am dealing with a very delicate situation in this town, and I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. Our time will come, I promise you. Vance. Okay. What? Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Let's go talk to Vance. Well, maybe... Does he want me to talk to the people, too? Hello. Please help me understand your laws. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kind of weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace yes. only the shadows. Stay in the shadows. This is our refuge. I'm John Henry Keaton. Alright. President of America. Hey there. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. Mm-hmm. Mine is, bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kind of cool, huh? Definitely. All right. Get one over here. What is it? Oh, wait. Vance told me I was supposed to say something special when asked that, from his teachings. Oh, right. third law. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. Whew, almost forgot it again. <laughs> okay. Should have uh, this dude and his wife left. You gonna gawk all day, or you? When Vance stands on that balcony and starts mouthing off like some kind of preacher, it makes me want to puke. <laughs> but if I want to keep this place stocked, I gotta have his permission. So I learned his fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Pretty silly, if you ask me. Okay. She, I think, uh, what she got first law? What you need. Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. There. Finished everything. Now I can go talk to Bands. You wish to speak to me again? Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Vampires. <laughs> All right. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Uh... Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. Oh, yes. Their quirks are tolerated and understood. 
Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. All right. <laughs> a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Oh? Because of my information that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be able to ah. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No, it would not be. You wish to. Speak I'm talking to him, buddy. I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to Ian and then I'll stop the video here. Cause it's about, it's at about 42 minutes. Alright, Ian. Talk to you. You're a bitch to find. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be found. Why the heck are you looking for me anyway? <laughs> there you go. Pack your shit. We're getting out of this insane asylum. Why can't everyone just leave me alone and <laughs> let me make my own decisions? I can't stand this anymore. I don't even know who I am anymore or where I belong. My real family is gone because of me, and Vance is all I have now. Doesn't matter what happened in the past. Of course it matters. The past is what's keeping me up at night. That night is like a bad dream. It's parts of it, but I don't remember what happened. It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. Something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? You know, for a second there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes give him the letter. head on back. Here, I will give you the letter. I wanted to thank you one My brain feel... Don't worry about me. I've been... I suppose not. Uh... Uh. It actually kind of makes me feel better. Alright. I guess I can't give him the letter. Alright. <laughs> well, let's go tell Vance about him. Then in the next video, I'll turn this mission in. I'm getting that dang sword. I trust your talk. I am quite in. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. 
Uh, give those people a chance they're defenseless. I suppose we could stop our raids on Arafu in light of this situation, but that just forces us to prey on others. Unless, many years ago, I survived by drinking from preserved blood packs I recovered from hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs are scarce. Protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. All right. Thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All right, all respectable. I was to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please. I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. It has been. Oh yes, I got the shishwag schematic. Yes. Alright. Uh Yeah, we'll just stop here. Alright guys, we'll finish this mission up in the next video.